Well, I've come along to Dune School here today for a very exciting moment as the school is presented with an award. I've got with me the head teacher, David, and uh, this is one that the kids have had involvement in, I understand. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, Investing in Children Award, which is uh, an award which is given to organisations for young people, uh, and it celebrates where they have uh, an impact, an input, uh, a genuine say in the things that happen at that organisation or at that school, uh, where they can see a real outcome and they can affect change themselves. Their ideas are really listened to. Like a school council is it, that has input and they, they go to you and you chat about things? and, and Yeah, it can be. I mean, a school council is uh, quite a big part of that. Mm. But um, what's uh, really important about the Investing in Children is it actually celebrates the complete ethos at school. So really we're talking about every child who has an idea, every child who has an who has an idea, has a say that they want to get done, they have the opportunity to do that with their class teachers, uh, whether it's in class choosing the topics that they want to study, how they want to study them, how they want to present their work, or whether it's going to the school council and saying, you know, uh, as, it, as happened here, could we have a, an additional break time, could we change the way that lunch times are organised, uh, and it really filters down from, the, from, from small things right through to really large things. It has a genuine change on the school. Right, so, so those are the sort of things that actually happened. They did change a break time, for instance. Uh, they did, yeah. We, had a, we have an additional afternoon break time now. Uh, little things which make a big difference to kids, really, and sometimes there are ideas that we as adults might not think of. Uh, simple things like changing the seating arrangements at lunchtime, changing the arrangements for uh, indoor breaks when it's raining, how that operates. Uh, they also have a budget. They can buy the equipment that they think is going to be useful for indoor breaks. Uh, but also they have a, a chat with their teachers and they can say... Uh, you know, last year, for example, one class decided what they would really like to learn about was the Titanic. They'd seen it on the TV and in the newspapers with the, with the anniversary celebrations. Uh, and so that's what they did as their class, and the teachers work around that. Isn't this the second school you've worked at that's got this award now? Uh, it is, yeah. So uh, I'm a bit of getting to be an old hand, I suppose. But, but that's important, because that means, you know, I've, I've genuinely seen the impact that it has. It's a real uh, celebration. It's a badge of honour almost for the ethos that the school has. It really says everything you need to know about a school. And that's not it forever, is it? You've got to keep the standards up and they come back and check? Yeah, the beauty of it is that it's, uh, we'll be re-evaluated in 12 months' time, and that's true every 12 months. So we can't just tick a few boxes and say, we've done it, we're investing in children's school. We have to make sure that we carry on doing the things that we believe in. Um, but that won't be a problem because, because it works. <laughs> and with me here are two of the students at uh, Dune School, Fleur and Harry. What do you think to get this award? I think it's amazing that we got this award and we deserve it. Um, did you do lots for it? Yeah, we did. We tried to do our best and we did a lot. So I hear you had discussions about changing uh, break times and getting things like that sorted out. Was that interesting? Yeah, because um, in the afternoon, we never had our afternoon break oh. and the school council um, got afternoon break and everyone's really happy about it. So it's a nice school, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, very. It's a good school to be at.